On a public school teacher facing some serious charges. 25 year old Kanisha Gilmore is accused of shooting into a vehicle with four people inside. Our Ashlyn Mitchell joins us live now from Metro with this story. Well, Anise and Shelby, all four people escaped to unharmed. We're actually told that we have ring doorbell video from someone's porch that shows the moment they all scramble to safety. Gunshots broke the silence early Sunday morning in a Midtown Mobile neighborhood. Police arrived at the 3000 block of Old Shell Road. Investigators say the victim had an altercation with the suspect, 25 year old Kanishia Gilmore. Authorities say Gilmore then followed the victim and fired several shots at their vehicle that had four people inside. The entire back of the vehicle was shot up. The whole entire back window was gone. Full of holes everywhere on the back of the vehicle. One witness was jolted awake by the gunfire. I was inside of my house. I heard gunfire. I heard a few shots. I decided to run to the front door. When I came out the door, I saw um, the young lady in a little um, BMW truck. Also, another little gray car behind the car shooting inside of the car. <laughs> Ring doorbell video from a bystander's porch capturing the moment the occupants park and run to safety. She was done shooting at that point. They was actually um, able to get inside of the house and I was just praying that everybody got out the car and was safe. Thankfully, no one was hit. You don't have the right, nor the authority to just ride around shooting inside of vehicles. Police arrested Gilmore on Tuesday. Gilmore is facing two charges, shooting into an occupied vehicle and then shooting into an unoccupied vehicle. According to Scarborough Middle School's website, Gilmore is a seventh grade science teacher. Jail records show Gilmore is still in Metro as we speak on a $20,000 bond. A spokesperson with the Mobile County Public School System tells us Gilmore has been placed on administrative leave, and this is still an ongoing investigation. Reporting live from Metro, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.